I just got back from my 50th cruise. It was on the Celebrity Beyond. This is the newest class of celebrity ships and it has some new design features. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the highlights of this ship. I'm not going to give you a complete tour of the ship because this has already been done by many other YouTube content creators. However, I am going to take you along and show you the highlights, some of the things that are different on this class of ship than on their other two classes of ships. Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it would really help my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. This was an 11 day Southern Caribbean cruise. It left from Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. The embarkation was relatively smooth. At first I thought it was going to take forever to sign in because it looked like there were about 20-25 lines of people. It turned out that there was a staff person covering one or two of those lines and so they moved really quickly. After that we just walked onto the ship and found our cabin. We were in aqua class this time, first time for me trying out this class. Our cabin is a standard veranda cabin, however the shower is a spa shower and so there's a lot more features there. I'm going to start on deck 5 and work down a few decks, then I'll go up to the pool deck at the end. And the reason I'm starting on deck 5 aft is because one of their newest features is called Eden and this is a large area at the back of the ship that is about two stories, maybe three stories high and it's full of plants and greenery and floor to ceiling windows just exquisite. There's a large bar, there's a cafe for quick sandwiches, there's a dining room, and there's a dance floor which is used for their second crew production shows. There's also musical entertainment in the evening by one or two musicians playing background music. This area also has a wheelchair elevator, which could be helpful information for some passengers. Also in this area is the Blue Restaurant. This is the restaurant specifically for those passengers in Aqua Class. And I'll be doing a, a complete video on dining and in particular in Blue and tell you all about it later on. The passageway between this area and the rest of the ship is a mirrored walkway filled with gold statues and freestyle art on the floor, on the side, on the ceiling, everywhere. Beautiful background music. The only problem is it's kind of disorienting when you first walk through it because of the mirrors everywhere. Every time I walk through here I feel like I'm going to hit something. It's so dark and there's objects everywhere. As we exit this area we pass through one of the two large elevator banks and then we go into the retail store area. This was a really a fun store. It had a lot of different clothing that was really reasonably priced and I actually ended up purchasing two kimono type things, one in blue and one black with sparkles and I really liked them and they were $10 each. So even though there's a lot of expensive items, really overpriced items in these stores, you could also find some lower priced items that are fun. As we move along, we get to the Grand Plaza and the Grand Plaza is at least I don't know, three, four, five stories high. And so you can look down onto the bar and dance floor from various decks. And it's very pretty. It's always busy down there. It's very hard to find a seat. At the 
forward section of this deck, you find the upper level of the theater and also the upper level of the club, which is their disco. Going down to deck four, we find the lower levels of both the theater and the club. There are also more shops and the casino is located here. I did try my luck for about 10 minutes in there with um, no winnings. On the beyond, there isn't one large dining room as you normally find. Instead, there are four smaller ones. They have the same menus, but it makes it more intimate instead of that vastness of one main dining room. The Normandy and Tuscan dining rooms are located one deck below on deck three, and that's also the deck that has the Grand Plaza with the huge bar, it's a martini bar, and the dance floor where they have live music and a DJ every evening. I'm going to do a separate video on dining, and in particular, the Blue Restaurant. So I'm not going to talk about the eight complimentary places that you can eat and the eight specialty restaurants in this video. Up on deck 14, there's quite a few innovations to this edge class ship. The most obvious one is the magic carpet. And this is a restaurant slash bar that hangs over the side of the ship and can move up and down. However, unlike the rising tide on the Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships, the magic carpet really doesn't move very much. It pretty much stays up on the pool deck. It can move down to deck five or two in order to disembark passengers, but I actually didn't see it move. So it's more or less a stationary venue. And it has a restaurant, it has a bar, it has seating and lovely views. But it's not as exciting as its name would lead you to believe. There's a large pool, a lot of deck chairs. This pool was always busy because it was very warm and actually hot and sunny during this cruise. There are two hot tubs that look like, I don't know, flowers or something because they seem to have a stem and then they're elevated up high. There is a large piece of art by the pool. Talk about the elephant in the room. Well, <laughs> there is an elephant that is balancing on the back of a man. Personally, I don't know how they keep that elephant up there and not falling over, but <laughs> they do. And it's an interesting piece of art to look at and to photograph. There is a jogging track that starts on deck 14 and actually it's elevated and goes up to deck 15. The salon is located on deck 14 and here they have all kinds of services from teeth whitening to a hair salon, a nail salon, and also, this is where you go for your massages and your facials. And then up one deck is the fitness center, the gym. The equipment was state-of-the-art. The views were beautiful. Since we were staying in aqua class, we were entitled to use the thermal suite with a special key card. And in there were these heated lounge chairs that you could sit on and look out at the beautiful views. There were also a variety of different kinds of heated or steam rooms that you could use. One was a salt room, one was a steam room, one was a sauna. There was also a huge shower, rain tree shower, that you could walk through. And there was an area where they had what they called floating they were ch uh, chairs, they were rocking chairs that you could sit in and relax. So I did try that one day, but honestly, I didn't take advantage of that as a perk of my aqua class suite. So I'm not sure I would stay in aqua class again, 
the blue restaurant was interesting, but not exactly to my taste, and I'll be telling you more about that in my dining video. We stayed in aqua class because the people we were traveling with wanted to stay there, and I'm glad we did because I had been wondering what it was like, and now I know. Off of the thermal suite was an outside deck that you could relax on while well, there were no chairs, so actually <laughs> you couldn't really relax out there, but there was some really beautiful and interesting sculptures, and... Our friend who was traveling with us actually took his yoga mat out there and did some yoga out there. So that was a lovely spot. This beautiful deck space is at the front of the ship, just outside the spa area. It's a gorgeous day in Fort Lauderdale. We haven't taken off yet, but we're touring the ship in the time that's allotted before we depart and it's absolutely gorgeous ship. Any of the solstice class ships on Celebrity, you will have noticed the huge grassy area on the upper deck where people lounge around and watch movies. They don't have that on the edge class, but they do have what they call the rooftop garden, and there are beautiful greenery and plants around, and you won't believe this one, the pickleball court. I think people were joking, but no, there is a pickleball court up there, and it was very active and constantly in use. They have another innovation up there called the plunge pool and this is a see-through pool the size of a jacuzzi you can see the people's bodies in there as you walk by but it's a cool pool unlike a jacuzzi so it's a place to cool off the entrance to the retreat lounge chair area is also up here on 15. The retreat is their suites only area and it's well designed in that everything is grouped together. It is secured by key cards so you can't get into their reception area, their dining room, Lumine, and their relaxation areas I did peek through the door because I had stayed in the retreat class last year on the reflection that was a conversion it had been added to the ship whereas the edge class is the first one where the retreat class has been designed and built in so it's really much larger I hope you enjoyed seeing these ship highlights Thanks for watching. Have a great day.